Hi WIST, I'm Jenna. I'm a junior student athlete at Syracuse University on the women's soccer team and you're going to come along on a coffee journey with me. I'm 22 days in because I'm filming this intro halfway through or like a little bit all the way through because I'm finally like in a spot where I can. And when first tasked with the creative piece, I was kind of scared, kind of nervous, and I was actually getting coffee when I decided on this because I'm very much a cre creature of habit, type A. I really think a stalker or serial killer could easily kill me because I follow the same schedule so much a lot of the time because I like being in a routine. But for my 2021 word, which I talk about in some of the vlogs, I'm working on growth. and. My usual coffee order, which is either a cold brew or an iced coffee with two pumps of mocha and or chocolate sauce. I know the calories of it. I know that I'm gonna like it. I know how much it's gonna cost at each like place I go to. Like I know it like the back of my hand. So it's been really hard, <laughs> but I've made it through and I've honestly have found some new favorites of mine. And I just can't wait for you to come on this adventure with me. Okay, day one of trying coffees out of my comfort zone. It's very, very pretty. And it's the Irish cream cold brew. So, it smells very yummy. <laughs> also, my mother's in the car, masked, masked up. Very nice. It's yummy. I don't know if I just got all foam. But it's good. Um, we are driving back home from Syracuse and recommendations. A book, Untamed, Love Glenn and Doyle, Great Woman, and then podcasts on repeat. So yeah, catch you back later. <laughs> so it's day two of trying new coffees and um, was going to go to Starbucks and get one, but they were closed until further notice. So I went to Dunkin and normally I just get the same exact thing, but today I went for almond milk and two gingerbread swirl. We'll see, my sister gets this one. I don't know how I feel about it. I'll drink it. It like doesn't have the spice of the gingerbread that I like. But yeah, just got done Trader Joe's shopping for the two weeks that I'm home, so. Okay, so I can't stop drinking it, so it has to be good. Uh, it was also the last day that I could use my free drink from Dunkin', so I guess it all worked out. Day two successes. Day three of trying a new coffee that sort of scares me. So today I went to a local coffee shop in my town after I did rehab for my hip, and I'm five weeks post-op from last Friday, which is exciting. It just still hurts, so I'm a little scared. So also, I tore my labrum probably last year and then was having a lot of issues over the summer and then we found out that I did tear it before the season, but I played on a torn labrum. I know recovery's been like sorta of hard and like, I don't know, by myself a lot of it and like, I don't know what pain is normal and what pain isn't, so it's like kinda tough. But you know, we're getting through it and coffee is a highlight of my day and it really helps me get through stuff. But today I got a large iced coffee with mocha, which is normal. That's like a normal order. But I added raspberry to it because I really like really like chocolate and fruit. But like, I don't know how to taste with this. So it's really a lot of raspberry, but I really like it. Like a lot. Wow. Okay, I'm very happy that this has happened. Day three, very much a success. So it's day four of trying coffees that are out of my comfort zone, never tried, have really done. This actually isn't a coffee, but it keeps coming up on my explore page for like TikTok. Um, also, I'm just in a really good mood right now because I love the people that work at my gym and like my rehab place. And like they let me come in this morning, like even though I didn't have PT to do like my rehab on my own which is really awesome but yeah so this is a grande iced chai tea latte and I made it with almond milk but then I added vanilla sweet cream cold foam to the top it smells kind of like Christmas oh that's yummy it's like subtle again better than like the gingerbread flavored spiced coffee from Dunkin that I had 
and the vanilla kind of cuts it. Like, I don't know how, like, I'm not describing words well, but like, it's really good. Oh. I'm happy. Oh. Day four. I've had a lot of good successes with day four. Day five. You guys have the drill by now. Um, my hair's a mess because I just did my rehab for my hip and then went to get my coffee after. So I got, oh, it doesn't say, um, a medium iced coffee with thin mint and almond milk. And I'm hoping it's going to be more chocolatey than minty rather than more minty than chocolatey, if that makes sense. But yeah, big medium iced coffee, so I won't complain. Okay, so it tastes just like a Thin Mint. I don't know how they did that. Like Thin Mint plus coffee, and like I love chocolate and coffee. It's so good. Also, yesterday, I was having a little bit of a freak out because my hip was doing this like deep ache thing and I talked with my physical therapist about it and it's just because it gets fatigued by the end of the night so I don't know why I freak myself out over small things. I guess with my body I do. But I just have to keep remembering that everything is going to work out in the end how it's meant to work out. So success. It's day six. Happy Merry Christmas Eve. Um, if you celebrate i um, really in a good mood today because when I went to the gym, which they're letting me go to, again, for like nothing, um, I got candy canes from the person who I used to work out with all the time, and now they put a little smiley face on my coffee order, and I decided to treat myself to one of their buttered muffins, and they put Smarties in it! <laughs> so, you know, I think today's just gonna be really good, you know? Got an iced coffee with almond milk, mocha, cinnamon swirl, and cinnamon powder. So I love cinnamon, I love chocolate, and I love coffee. So like, it tastes like something that I've had before. I guess we're doing food reviews now too, but I have to see a little Smarties because they buttered the muffin and grill it. I'm gonna take a bite. This is so good. And I know I'm gonna be like, feel guilty about eating this a little bit, but who cares? It's Christmas Eve. I'm gonna treat myself these next two days and it doesn't matter. Nothing's going to happen because of it. So yeah, growth, development, I don't know. Trying to work my way through stuff. A success, I gotta start breaking out more a little bit, I think. First week of trying different coffees, done. Merry Christmas, everyone. We have a small peppermint mocha with almond milk from Dunkin' Donuts. Oh God, this is what. I'm worried that it's gonna taste like toothpaste. I need coffee before opening presents. Okay, let's see. It's more minty than chocolatey. I'll drink it. Nothing special. Excited to have a great Christmas. Day eight of trying different coffees. Um, I don't know why this lighting's so good, but like, we got the Grande vanilla cream cold brew. We got the foam too to put on top. I was definitely all foam, but obviously I love the foam. It reminds me of, with the foam, like the flavoring reminds me of like a milkshake that I like the coffee aftertaste. I've been home for a week now and I'm honestly excited to go back up to school. I really like my independence and like my own cooking, cleaning, that kind of thing. I don't really get that at home. Read. We were liars. I sobbed, read it all in a day. Also got my laptop that will finally not crash. Well, I use R. Thank you. I think I like it. Yeah, success. Day nine of trying different coffees outside of my comfort zone with a special guest of my mother, because we're going to Target after this. And we went to the beanery again this time, support local. But today I have a iced vanilla and lavender coffee with almond milk. Really stepped out of the comfort zone today. I'm very nervous. I wanna know what it smells like. 
It smells that definitely more lavender than vanilla. Oh God, I took the cap off. I'm regretting that. But everyone gets lavender stuff now. <laughs> I don't know how people like, it tastes like I'm eating like the forbidden like bath salts. Like, you know, the bath salts that as a kid you smell and you're like, oh my God, that must taste so good. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. So like, I'm not gonna give it a success or a fail cause I'm gonna drink it. Just much slower. So on day 10, honestly, nothing special happened here. So this is the video sped through, but I remade the hot cocoa cold brew and it was fantastic, but it wasn't out of my comfort range at all. And it was basically chocolate milk for adults, but would highly suggest if you're in the mood for that. I am back at the beanery for day 11 because I think it's my last time that I'm gonna be going here. But today I got an iced coffee with vanilla, I got a bigger size this time because I trust this, with vanilla swirl, cinnamon swirl, and cinnamon sprinkles and almond milk. And she put a little smiley face. I love the people here. It makes me sad that I'm not gonna be able to come back here for a while. like tastes a lot like coffee but like good like so a girl did just pull up right next to me and went in so if i'm still filming by the time she comes back out it's gonna be awkward this is really good um but yeah also is me recommending coffee flavors to you creative also my car is getting fixed and i'm really excited to be able to take that car instead of this car not that i don't love my mom's car but my nissan rogue becky her name's becky just has a special place in my heart like, what if I just did, like, a coffee with Jenna vlog? Like, put it on YouTube. The girl's back. So I feel uncomfortable that I had to do this. Moving, maybe she thinks I'm on a call with someone. Hey, Devin, because I'm sending this to you right after. Plans for day 12 of the coffee challenge. I'm actually headed back up to school now. I just finished my last thing of PT. I said goodbye to my mom. I'm headed back up to school. So I tried to do a venti cold brew with two pumps of mocha and only one pump up with the peppermint syrup. And then I still added vanilla sweet cream cold foam. It's awesome. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm not gonna... This kind of tastes like peppermint hot chocolate. I kind of like it. I also just got an email from my coach saying we're doing this challenge and I need to pick one word for myself for the new year coming up. And then one word for the team. And I'm kind of struggling with something for the team. Our culture has started to change. But I really want to like focus on that for myself. I want to, I just want to focus on like being there for everyone, being like the rock in the back, being like the rock for academic. Like, I just want to focus on being like that rock. And I don't want my word to be rock, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. I got five hours to think about this, so yeah. Day 13 of trying a different coffee challenge. I'm literally facing the drive through of Starbucks, so anyone who's just sitting in line can see me. Um, I'm back in queues, very happy. I did figure out my word for myself and that's gonna be growth. I didn't think a different word encapsulated everything that I wanted to do and I really just as a person, a player, I don't know, everything, I just want to grow in aspects of my life. I wanna do the 75 hard challenge just for like, I wanna prove to myself that I can do it. So, I think I'll be doing that starting tomorrow. I have a grande cold brew with two pumps mocha, two pumps of raspberry, dark chocolate curls, and vanilla sweet cream cold foam. So I'm really hoping it tastes like my um, sweet frog order. Swirl, oh, it's actually so gorgeous. Thoroughly enjoy this. So I messed up and thought I miscounted, but I didn't. So here's just an extra day of me trying coffee. It was the first day out of quarantine and I really needed human interaction. I got a drink with two espresso shots, cinnamon dolce syrup, vanilla syrup, and of course, sweet cream cold foam on top with cinnamon. And it wasn't awful, but it wasn't my favorite. So yeah, now back to regular scheduled programming, I guess. Day 14. Um, honestly, I'm really anxious right now. Because my left hip has been hurting me. Probably from Palm City and just being tight, but I got this new- oh, it's dripping. This new cold brew from Starbucks, the Grande Honey Almond Milk Cold Brew. And honestly, I don't know why. Like, I don't like honey. I don't- like, I like almond milk. I don't- 
Oh, you I think it's going to be blunt. Oh, it does taste a lot like honey. Definitely not my cup of coffee. <laughs> I just went grocery shopping, which makes me really happy, but it's not bad. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, but it doesn't have the coffee flavor either. Like I can taste like the honey. I got to elliptical today for three minutes, so that was fun. Day 14, just kind of, you know. And it's day 15 and we're halfway through. Um, I went back to my favorite as of right now coffee shop in Syracuse which is recess and it's also the first hot coffee of this challenge but I got a 16 ounce medium roast coffee with maple syrup and almond milk like it so like I don't know also I found out that I don't hate hot coffee yeah, it's good. It'll be good. On day 16, I got a cold brew with the pistachio sauce and brown butter salt thing from Starbucks. My mom also called me in the middle of filming this, so it kind of got cut off. But this day marked the first day of me doing lunges, only a humble brag. Overall, okay, especially coming from someone who says their favorite nut is pistachios, but won't get pistachio flavored anything. Day 17 and um, I decided to try Salt City coffee. One, it's very pretty. So I picked gingerbread because the Dunkin' Donuts gingerbread was lacking. Also this lighting. <laughs> That's good. That's way better than Dunkin' Donuts. So moving into a place right by Syracuse, like on like Marshall Street, I will be spending a lot of money there then because I'm literally there for half of my classes because I'm a marketing minor. I also do a lot of um, donating and charity work, which I didn't realize until I stocked them this morning. I stock every coffee place I go to, so if you don't have good social... <laughs> It's day 18, we're in a crowded Wegmans parking lot. Um, I finally got myself to come here even though it's so busy in there and I just, ugh. My quads are so sore from two days ago from doing lunges for the first time. Really hit me. So I got the smallest cold brew with the brown sugar spice thing and almond milk. And the lady then goes, man, you don't ask for much, do you? It's the aftertaste in all these spiced ones. I for that rant about these two men that like I didn't know who they were until I stalked them on all their socials. Why not? It's fine. Not great. Not bad. Okay, day 19. We have another boring coffee day. Well, the coffee wasn't boring. The cold brew with homemade vanilla syrup with almond milk was amazing, and Salt City now has a customer for life. But nothing really happened besides some weird gulping noises that you don't want to hear. Okay, day 20, maybe. Day 19, one of the two. Brushing because I have to go to a Zoom meeting. Hence the sweater on top, but the sweatpants on the bottom. Also, I'm talking too fast. I did my hair because I'm greasy, but I went to recess to get their vanilla iced coffee. It tastes similar, but this one is like a stronger aftertaste, but not in the good, not in a good way. So I'm gonna go on a Zoom call and basically say these two people should be on brands with these two things, and 20 other people are gonna be there. Tomorrow's the analytics one, and I still have to run my regression. And I have a team Zoom meeting tonight. It's a busy day, good thing, because I've been lazy and I need to be productive. And we're off. Let's go. Day 21. Ooh, frizzy hair. I have my MBA presentation today in there. So I'm trying Recess's version of a peppermint mocha. It's like an aftertaste of peppermint, but also because I have my toothpaste taste in my mouth, I don't know. For today's analytics thing, 
Okay, so this was actually over a four minute rant that started off with me saying how Twitter was only one category, so it made my regression a little weird, but also how the NBA is cluttering Twitter because they have the most posts and the least engagements, while Instagram has the least amount of posts but the most engagements. Also, how there is no audience data, and I really enjoy looking at the demographics and who is more inclined to what. So instead of giving you that full four minute rant, here's the brief synopsis. Okay, rant done. This is actually good. Tastes a lot like chocolate. Less like peppermint. I still think Thin Mint has my heart because it tastes like the cookie at Tasty's at home. Okay, yeah. It's day 22. So sorry for all these voiceovers, but I don't want to give out super boring content. I retook this video like three times because I was super self-conscious with all the people around me. That's why it's not interesting. And I tried a hazelnut iced coffee, which wasn't bad, but I don't like Nutella because of a bad experience when I was younger, so no extra info necessary. It's day 23. Um, I'm getting my hair cut literally right after this, so maybe you won't see me in a bun for the last week of this and for like my outro. I faced one of my bigger fears today with caramel. Caramel, caramel, caramel. I dislike it. I dislike it a lot. And I decided to do a grande salted caramel cold foam cold brew, but I changed it from four pumps of caramel syrup to two pumps of caramel syrup. I like this song. <laughs> oh. Definitely cut down on the caramel pumps if you don't like caramel that much, because it gives it more of um. Not as a sweet, but more of a bitter taste almost. Nine weeks post-op today, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Audience matters. Know your audience. I don't actually know my audience for this video. So, hey audience. Is it not now caramel? I don't think I hate all the things that I thought I hated in my head. I'm reading a book called Legacy about the All Blacks from New Zealand. You have to adapt to stay on top. It's not about adapting just to adapt to survive. You want to adapt because you want to be on top of the game. And that I like that. Okay, yeah, this is not bad. It's day 24 and if you've noticed, I've chopped off my whole head of hair. So today I went to Sweet Praxis, so I got the spiced pumpkin latte. Wow, that's good. I think I'm a pumpkin spice fan and I just have been like embarrassed. Also, they said this is made with like real pumpkin. I just want to like lick the foam. It's like hot foam, you know, like froth. And there goes the lid. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be snowing all week and I'm so excited. That's all. Have a great day. It's day 25 and I'm going to start making these videos slightly shorter so that I have less editing to do. I came back to Sweet Praxis because I wanted to try their other specialty latte, the fireside latte, because it's snowing outside and it's just like warmth. Like I don't even know. I can taste like almost like cinnamon chai-esque flavors, but like there's more. I'm not a coffee connoisseur. Today, I'm excited to do not that much and just chillax. Yum. Okay. So on day 26, I went to Dunkin', which has my heart because I am from Mass. I actually ordered the wrong thing. I got the French vanilla swirl instead of the vanilla flavor shot. It left a weird taste in my mouth and reminded me of my early coffee days with a ton of sugar. Also, I got the extra charge, aka more caffeine, and I don't really know if I felt the difference after. It's day 27. I've decided that I need to get back into doing work, projects, whatever. Today, I got a Grande Nitro Cold Brew. I'm wondering if it'll be velvety smooth with sweet cream. And I added cinnamon dolce topping and extra cinnamon powder. Okay, so the cinnamon powder, I love the smell that it gives as I taste it. I don't know if I would say this so much better than like um, 
a regular cold brew. I'm locking my doors. This is like a very plain neutral drink. But I can't say breakfast. Yeah. Pretty good. I'll drink it. Okay. <laughs> it's day 28. I went back to Reese's today. So I was like, hey, just can you put like an ice thing of your favorite drink? You're like regular is like chocolate sauce and like almond milk. No, she came up with an iced maple latte with almond milk. Because I actually love the woman. Like she's like young. She's like my, my age, maybe older. I don't know. But um, she's like, you're that, you have that. And I was like, I'm a regular. It slaps. And I'm not normally an espresso drink kind of gal. But yeah, that was a really like awesome interaction. And like, I'm really proud that I like actually asked like what I was going to ask. I don't do well with like ordering food. Like I had my mom order food for me for so long. Amazing. Okay, bye. It's day 29. Um, I came back to sleep praxis because I wanted to try their last, um, what's it called? Latte. So I'm doing the spicy Mexican mocha. Oh, I kind of like, it's not like spicy. It's like spices almost. This just tastes like spicy hot chocolate. Like, I've been doing like an hour and a half of work for the past few days or an hour, just like I'm doing whatever off my phone, which has been nice. So I don't hate this hairstyle, especially because it's so small. Probably gonna chug this on the way home, but it was good. It's day 30, the last day, and I'm a little sad. It's also 10 weeks of like post hip rehab. I went back to Risa. I think this is like a French toast, like hot coffee latte. Oh, that's yummy. Like, wow. 30 days of different coffees, not feeling comfortable ordering. I hope that this like has let you guys get to know me better as like a person. Like, great job. It's day 31. Got a grande iced coffee with three pumps of mocha and to add, I got vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Now that my journey for 30 days of coffee is over, it's kind of weird. Like I can honestly say that like I can order like over 15 things. Like I can order for my mood. Like I don't have to feel like trapped in one box. So, oh, you know what? Thank you, West, for letting me do this and letting me spend my money in this way. Although I would have spent my money every single day on one drink. Like, I just, boop. Like, have you guys seen the TikTok audio? With surgery and everything and like being alone and school getting pushed back, like, you gotta find the little things that make you happy and obviously, Coffee is my little thing. I guess we'll close this out. Thanks again. It's been quite a journey. I really enjoyed it. There were some bad coffees. That lavender one. There were some great coffees. Most of them vanilla ones. Alright. Bye.